Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Wiley Drake, and I'm broadcasting to you live from Washington, D.C. today. And the title of our broadcast today is A Cry for Help from the Alamo. Now, many of you know that I am originally from the state of Arkansas, but I lived in Texas much of my life. I was born and raised in Magnolia, Arkansas, which is simply 50 miles from Texarkana, Arkansas. And so I was raised in what was called the Arkla, Tex area. I lived there in Texas for a while. I pastored a church in Texas. And indeed, I was married to my beautiful wife for 48 years, one month, and 14 days. And she was a Texan. She was born in Bear County, Texas. And we used to tease her about being born in the Alamo. Well, I'm going to talk to you today about the Alamo. I'm going to talk to you today about San Antonio, Texas. And I'm going to talk to you today about a tragic event that's going on in the state of Texas. As the chairman of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., I ask you, please hear me out. I ask that you would please hear me out and pray and put feet to your prayers. As I said, I'm a Texan by proxy. I was married to my wife 48 years, one month, and 14 days. And many people used to say, your accent is different, Wiley, uh, even though you're from Arkansas. Well, it was different, is different, because I spent 48 years with a dear, dear, sweet Proverbs 31 Texas woman who is in heaven today, and I thank God for her being there. Well, I'm going to give you this cry for help from the Alamo. Brother Alan Parker, who I've known now for uh, about 15 years, was instrumental in helping start. He's one of the founding fathers of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., and a prayer line that many of you call in on quite often, and that is the telephonic prayer meeting line. And I've known him all these years, and this article comes from him and this appeal comes from him. San Antonio, Texas. Alan Parker, president of the Justice Foundation, uh, representing hundreds of black, Hispanic, and Anglo pastors, uh, 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 issued the following call for help. Echoing the immortal words of Colonel William Barrett Travis from the Alamo, uh, where he drew a line in the sand and it says, I call on you in the name of liberty, of patriotism, and everything dear to the American character to come out and aid with all dispatch. We only have a week to stop this most radical gender identity ordinance in the nation. Why the city of San Antonio gender confusion ordinance is more radical than that of any other city. There are four major reasons why the city of San Antonio proposed gender confusion ordinance would place it as one of the most radical sexual orientation and gender identity ordinances in the nation. Called a non-discrimination ordinance, it really is a discrimination order. It discriminates against Christians primarily. Here are the conclusions. Asexuality and bisexuality are not usually included in definition of sexual orientation. Uh, the Wikipedia cites that there is even disagreement among gender experts as to whether asexuality is a disorder or is it a true sexual orientation? Number two, it violates the Texas Constitution explicitly. It does not give protection for those who believe that marriage should be between a man and a woman. Texas is a, a one man, one woman state for marriage. The city is already in violation of the Texas Attorney General's opinion that it is uh, improper uh, to give domestic partnership benefits to homosexuals. Uh, its passage inevitably requires domestic partnership health benefits for every business in the city. 
though it says the ordinance will not do this, the city refuses to put that in writing uh, in the ordinance. It allows enforcement by complaints filed against any business by any member of the aggrieved community and expands the size of the community and the definition of sexual orientation to include at least four orientations, heterosexual, homosexual, asexual, and bisexual. Most statutes do not do that. It fails to include a clear and complete restroom protection clause that would make it not only apply to gender specific uh, facilities. Ladies and gentlemen, the state of Texas is in trouble. We need to go to the Alamo. Those of us that love Texas, those of us that have been around Texas, and those of us who appreciate the state of Texas, the Justice Foundation, Brother Alan Parker, and in all honesty, Lord, we come before you to say, we support these folks, and we want you to know uh, we here at the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. will do anything and everything we can to defeat this issue. Please go to the Justice Foundation's website. Please go there and find out more about this whole situation, and we would encourage you to do that. The Justice Foundation. You can go to info, I-N-F-O, at txjf.org info at txjf.org ladies and gentlemen it's time to stand it's time to fight and it's time to adopt that statement indeed that uh, uh, rang out from the call uh, from uh, the Alamo they drew a, sign, a line in the sand <clears throat> I call on you in the name of liberty of patriotism and everything dear uh, to the American character to come to our aid with all dispatch. That was sent out then. That was the cry from the Alamo. And we ask you to stand with these dear friends in Texas. We call you in the name of liberty, in the name of patriotism, and everything dear to the American character to come out and with all dispatch and aid. And most of all, we ask you to do this in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you, and have a great, great day.